Hey guys, and welcome to another edition of Gifted Monkey TV. All things toy and toy related. I'm your host, Jordan Preston. And when we come back, we're going to take a look at a large-scale action figure from the guys at NECA. Based on the cult classic film, Batman Returns. That's sure to get your vote for Oswald Cobblepot in your collection. Respect the monkey! Hey guys, and keeping with the promise of the awesomeness, here we are. The one-fourth scale figure of Oswald Cobblepot, a.k.a. the Penguin, from the classic hit movie, Batman Returns. And look at this guy. This guy is on point. He is all types of awesome. But let's take a quick look at this box while we have it out here. On the box, we see a nice window shot of Oswald Cobblepot, the actual figure right here, as we see right in here inside the window. We see a nice picture of Danny DeVito, a photo shot of the picture of Danny DeVito as he appeared as the Penguin in the classic movie Batman Returns. Under here, we see Batman Returns, the Penguin, one-fourth scale action figure. We see little pieces of snowdrift, because if you remember, that movie took place in the, in the wintertime, near the holiday season, and snow appeared in that movie a lot. So here we are right here, snowdrift, we turn it around to the side. Here we have a shot of the actual action figure in full regalia, all his clothes that come with it. We'll get to that in a minute, but that looks nice. The penguin dressed up in all his clothes, his outfit. We go around to the back again. Here we have another picture of the actual figure in a pose with the clothes on and the accessories that come with him. And it has a nice little read up here about uh, the movie's version of the Penguin and his origin story right here. So you guys can take a look at that. And Batman Returns. Again, snow drift in the background. Nice dark blue standing on snow. Bat signal on the side. Very nice right there. And then we have the figure as it appears in the box without any of the clothes on because uh, there were some major key points of the movie, those of you remember, with uh, the Penguin in his like onesie outfit, his little underwear outfit that he had on uh, during the course of the movie. So very cool. Very nice box. Very nice box. Uh, on the inside of this box, I'm going to take I'll show you something once we take him out. Let's uh, take him out of the box to see what the accessories are and take a look at the inside of this box. All right, before I forget, guys, I want to share two things about this box that we didn't mention a little earlier. One is they have this little button on the top. We didn't show the top of the box. They have this little button image of the uh, Oswald Means Business. Remember, uh, in the movie, uh, one of the plots was that the Penguin was running for mayor of Gotham. That was one of the things him and Christopher Walken dreamed up to get, to get uh, take over the city. So that's one thing. And then over here... And I want to show you the inlay that comes with this box. Look how cool that is. They did some nice poster work. This is actually based on the poster work that appeared in uh, Batman Returns. That's a nice, nice little caricature artwork of the Penguin uh, running for, pet, uh, for mayor. It says Oswald Cobblepot for mayor, Oswald Cobblepot for mayor on the side. Very nice work. Now, I'm going to give you a little a diorama tip. For you guys, take it for what it's worth. Just a simple, uh, bare bones, uh, dark and dirty diorama tip. Some of you guys uh, don't take your figures out of the box, and that's okay. That's not for you guys. The guys that do take their figures out of the box and don't have space for their box and throw these boxes out, uh, try just cutting out these pictures. Because look at this great artwork. Try cutting that out. Put it on a flat piece of wood or a hard piece of cardboard and uh, put it as a backdrop in your diorama for the Danny DeVito Penguin. And it will just sit there and you'll have all this beautiful artwork. If you don't want to use all this space for a diorama, take the little one and use it. And maybe put it as a base on a round, a round table or something, a round piece of wood. And then shellac it and make it your base for your Danny DeVito to stand on. But this artwork, don't let it go to waste. You guys who throw out your boxes afterwards. Because I take my figures out the box for another size. And this, I can use this stuff. Don't let it go to waste. Just don't say that. Now let's take a look at these accessories. Now, Penguin didn't come with a lot of accessories, but NECA sure hooked him up with some great essentials. Uh, in the movie, he didn't have a lot of accessories, but here's what NECA gave him. He has three hands, two extended hands, and look, look how the hands are greatly crafted. You see all the, all the uh, indentations in his fingers and his hands and a nice pose. And you see the, the kind of webbed deformity he had in the movie on his hands. Look at those nails. 
Those are great detail on those nails. Really nice. And they didn't even thick the nails out at the end. They're actually very thin and kind of sharp on the on the on the ends of the nails, so they're not thick like a mold would be. They actually are very thin, like actual nails would be. And then we have a holding hand. I guess this is for the fish. Once again, look at those nails, the great uh, sculpt work on those nails. And the paint apps are very nice, kind of like a pale peach color with pink running through it. And then we have this hand, of course, which is a, a duplicate of the other hand. We just had just the left version and the right version. Now look at this. They gave him his cigarette with the cigarette holder. And that just keys right into a peg that's in his mouth. We'll show you that a little later. And they give you his famous penguin monocle, which has a little clear plastic, translucent plastic piece that sticks out. And that keys into a little hole in the corner of his eye, the end corner of his eye. And we'll show you that too in a little bit once we show you what these look like. And then he comes with a half-eaten fish. Very nice, the little... Um, pink inside of the fish, that's great, fish head, look at that, and he comes with his top hat, nice little ribbon around it like that, it looks worn and withered, very nice inside, this is just plastic like that, not hard at all, there we go. And one of the nifty things that they did at NECA, they gave him this actual kind of fur-lined coat that he wore in the movie. I'm going to put it up here. Hopefully my great camera guy can get this. Lionel can pull it out. This is nice fur. Looks like real fur. This is almost like a felt, velveteen felt uh, feeling. But look, it's weathered. How nicely weathered. There's streaks of brown and stuff because in the movie... Penguin lived underground in the sewer system. So it has, a, it has a worn, worn look to it. Very weathered and brown, brown spots of brown and everything on this green. But this is a nice faux fur on this thing. And even the sleeves have a faux fur on the cuffs on both of those. And it's a little like cape like regal king type uh, feel to it. And we're going to put this on him a little later so you can see what it looks like on him. And then it has little tails, top hat and tails like a penguin. Tails at the end, little gaps for the tail part. Very nice stuff. The only thing that they could have added probably extra with this would be either one of those little penguins that they had so featured so much in the actual movie or the penguin's umbrella which would have been nice too because even in every rendition of the penguin uh, he always has an umbrella of some sort that's like his thing and for them not to include an umbrella in that it was a little bit of a miss but you know what I'll take this nifty jacket over an umbrella because I think I can find an umbrella somewhere to do to hook up that ensemble but that's pretty nice stuff let's take a look at the, at the articulation on the penguin this guy has some cool little articulation on him now once again he's restricted by all the bulk he has of this, this outfit and everything. So his articulation, especially around the head region, isn't much. But then again, the penguin wasn't your most action guy uh, in any mode because he's kind of big and slow and plod, plods along a little bit. So his action is very limited anyway, so you wouldn't be putting him in too many deep, bendy poses anyway. But here we go. Uh, his head gets a slight rotation like that. Once again, hindered by the tight collar. But you can look around. You can go up a little bit like that. Down, stops. Doesn't go down past a regular mode because it gets hit by the tie and again the collar. So that's it. So that's what you get right there. That, that, that. Now we move down to his arms. Again, you can see immediately there's no deltoid cut right in here at all for the shoulders. So we know that the shoulders aren't going to go up but so much. But he goes up like about that, stops, that, stops. There we go. We get rotation on the shoulders. They can rotate a full 360. I am the king. And then we get bend in his arm. It's about that much. That's it. That's your, that's your articulation of the arms. Two modes. Straight and a degree of bend.
and that's it at the at the uh, elbow. That's it. We get a, a nice little mid stomach, mid stomach below the chest swivel that you're able to get like that. So that's kind of cool. No stomach swivel down here. It's not cut in three sections. Just that 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 below the chest cut for you swivel it, and there's no ab crunching at all. And uh, you get this big tummy, but no type of articulation around the tummy or groin area. And then you get the, the legs, which can swivel slightly in, slightly out. You come down to the, to the knee part. You do get a knee back like that, which is hindered by the way it's cut. And then you get, then you get a boot swivel. No, you don't get any boot swivel up by the calf, which is interesting. This is such a, but it's such a well done cut. You don't, you, you can't, at first glance, you can't even tell that that foot and that ankle are cut. So you can swivel the foot around. Because it looks like one well, one blended in on those dark martins. So you get that much swivel, which is a 360 swivel on his foot, which is really nice. And it can come down about that much. It goes up about that much. And there you go. But once again, Penguin wasn't an action guy. So the degree of the degree of articulation they give you for him is really perfect for the most poses that you can think of to put a big solid guy like this in. They give you just enough for that. While I have him here, let's take a look at him because I'm going to show him. I'm going to show you other pieces of him with clothes on. But while I have his clothes off, let's look at what uh, Neca did with him. Let's look at that face. This is a great looking Danny DeVito. You can see Danny DeVito well into that face. I can't repeat enough every time I review one of these NECA 1 4th scale figures that uh, NECA started doing 1 4th scale figures in earnest in about the last four years. They really started coming on strong with 1 4th scale in earnest. They did it before but once in a while. But now they do it like every quarter they have something coming out. That's part of their line now. And they just get better and better. They are really becoming uh, like the hot toys of one-fourth scale uh, plastic action figures. They really are doing so great because you look at that, that's Danny DeVito as he appeared in Batman Returns. And we turn it around, you see a nice, they use a real, realish hair. They didn't do sculpted hair. They use actually real fibers of hair blended in with sculpted on the top part of his hair, which was a great, great thing. Especially if you put the top hat on. But even with this, it bleeds in very nicely. It lays very nicely. Wonderful. You see the nice um, uh, faux tuxedo, mock tuxedo that he has here. This is loose, uh, very uh, light rubber. So you can ma very malleable. No problem with that, as is the tie. Won't get in the way of any moving, any poses. And then we have his onesie from the movie, which is very dingy and dirty with, with holes all in it, just like the movie. They put the holes all in it, all these little parts you see with this light part, those are holes. Very great. Very great. Look at the kneecaps. The holes in the knees. Very nice. And then we turn them around. Very dingy. Even got the flat butt that he had in the movie. That's great. And we get to his Doc Martens. These are great boots. They did some really great neck is just jamming. This is a this is actually a thin plastic, the shoelaces. But they, they move like actual uh, fabric material. But they're actually thin thin uh, rubber uh, laces. But very nice. Look at those Doc Martens. Look at the detail on that. Very nice, this guy. He stands up. NECA usually has a problem with their figure standing up, and they don't have a base. But these, uh, this figure is so solid that he stands easily and effortlessly by himself like that. I want to show you some stuff. I want to show you how you put the monocle in. So now we key that monocle right into that little hole that's in the corner of his eye. And then we add his little cigarette holder right there like that. Then we add his top hat. And tell me that's not Danny DeVito. That is Danny DeVito as he appeared in the Batman Returns. I love that. That is very great. Look at this guy. All the paint apps around the eyes and the mouth. 
the nose. These naked really did their homework and did their job. They don't play around with these guys. A lot of a lot of these uh, toy makers just make uh, uh, half-ass figures loosely based or loosely looking like um, the actual subject matter. But NECA, when they do their one-fourth scale guys, they look pretty darn on point to uh, to the character they're referencing. Adam wanted to show you how Danny DeVito, a.k.a. Oswald Carl Popat, a.k.a. the Penguin from Batman Returns, looks in his coat. This fur coat looks kind of goofy when you take it out of the, the, the package, but when you put it on him, it just pops. Look at this. This is great, man. This is a fantastic figure. With the whole presentation going on, it's a fantastic figure. Even when you take this off, it gives you another piece of the movie when he was in the onesie uh, sleep outfit. That gives you another piece of the movie. When you put this on, though, it gives you Oswald Cobblepot, a.k.a. the Penguin, and all his glory. My cameraman's panning up and down to show you this wonderful coat. It has a little latch right here. You put him in the sleeve. Look at the fur on the sleeves coming around here. You, you, that looks great. And this coat just drapes fantastically. I'm going to do a 360. Danny DeVito stands on his own so easy because those dark martins are flat on the bottom with the little heel. It gives, And his weight is all centered in his belly. It gives it a nice uh, positioning for him to stand. So he doesn't even really need a stand. But that coat just kicks it off. This is just fantastic. For NECA, and it looks just like Danny DeVito from the movie. I can't wait till the Michelle Pfeiffer comes out. I know they're gonna probably do Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman, but he's in scale. If you stand him next to the one fourth scale Batman uh, from the, the uh, from the original Batman movie, he'd be about this tall to just Danny DeVito. So although this Danny DeVito is a one fourth scale, he's not 18 inches. He's about uh, 15 inches high, and the 18 inch uh, big guys. Come up to about here on him, just like in the, just like in real life, as it would have been, as it would have been. He got the fish in his hand, the uh, cigarette holder in his mouth, the top hat on, the monocle in, and this nice faux fur, fur around the pockets, fur around the sleeves. I can't tell you how great this looks in the actual uh, when you have it in front of you. It just looks, it just pops. Let's get one more look at these tails on the back. Look at that, how it drags, just like in the movie. The tails come down. And the, the sleeves drape down very nice. These little drapes that come off the sleeves. Very nice how that is. So there we are, guys. I hope you like this look at our new NECA 1 4 scale uh, Oswald Cobblepot Penguin from the Batman Returns uh, classic movie. Uh, guys, i got to tell you, I, in hand, this guy, I don't know how he's coming across on the screen, but in hand, this guy is to be seen, to believe. He just really looks great. He will add dimensions to your Batman collection, no matter what part of Batman you collect. Uh, he just really is a great, well-done piece. And when it comes to collections, if you find a great, well-done piece that fits in your collection, you should always get it, whether you would personally like the pain money or your best your best villains, the Riddler or Joker or whatever, but when you find a really nice done piece, it, you should get it and put it in your collection because it really adds dimension to your collection. And if you collect Penguin anyway, then it really looks fantastic. You're, it's a, it's a win-win situation. This guy has done so well with the faux fur, the jacket, even, and as I said earlier, when you take the jacket off, it gives you another piece of the movie that was Phil Mackwood, which was the onesies all torn up and tattered and fantastic. And you put the head top of that on, the cigarette holder. The only thing that could have done is add one or two things, which we mentioned earlier, was the little, uh, one of those little uh, mechanical penguins that were so prevalent in the movie, or his umbrella, which is a staple for the penguin. But when, what they did do right, and which is more important than those little extra accessories, is they captured Danny DeVito's likeness almost to a T. Almost to a T on this guy. My, my, my esteemed cameraman, producer, saw it when I took it out the box. Said, wow, now that looks like Danny DeVito. And it does. It really does. Um, this guy is going to run you. You'll probably find him on the internet and places like that. You can even go on Toys R Us website. And you can find him. He'll run basically $100. Now, inside point, for a lot of you guys that live in Los Angeles, you can go to Frankensons, which is in the city of industry right next to Pomona. 
and you can get him for $80. He runs $80, and that's with no tax. They don't usually charge tax on their items at Frank and Son. I got him for $80 at Frank. I got him for $75, actually, because I knew the person. But he was going for $80. $80 at Frank and Son's with no tax out the door. So you guys live in the L.A. area, go to, go to uh, Frank and Son's, get your NECA products, and you get, you get them at a really fantastic price. And for that price point, you can't beat it. He really looks fantastic. Should you get him? I think I already told you the answer to that. If you guys collect Batman, any type of Batman at all, this guy adds into your Batman collection. There's no downside to having something that looks this great. And at this height, where, you, where have you ever found a penguin of any type of depiction of the penguin that's a one-fourth scale? So for you guys that collect Batman things, this is a, a truly, truly win-win situation. And at the price point, even if you pay 100 bucks in your neck of the woods, that's a great uh, price point for a one-fourth scale figure with great detail in him. He looks fantastic. I love this guy. The paint apps. I don't need a lot of articulation. Look at the pose I have him in right now. If he was inside one of my default uh, cabinets or just on a shelf in this pose next to a, a Batman. That's all she wrote. You need not say anything more. And I think NECA is doing the whole Batman Returns uh, character. So they're going to come out with the Michael Keaton Batman from Batman Returns. And I'm sure they have to do a Michelle Pfeiffer if she signs off on it. Has to do a Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman. And with that, that's all I got to say on that. Thank you guys so much for looking at us. And write down below and tell me what you think. Do you have this, this penguin, this Danny DeVito likeness from Batman Returns? If you do have it, do you like it as much as I'm loving it right now? Because I really love this figure. If you don't have it, what do you think of it? Are you going to get it? It's a fantastic penguin lookalike, man. This thing is cooking. I love it. And also, comment to below because I always get back to you. Look us up on Pinterest and look us up on Facebook because we have things on both of those two uh, sites that you don't find in the actual TV show here, Gifted Monkey TV. So there you go. I thank you guys for joining us. And above all, like us if you like us and subscribe because we're building ourselves up to 2,000, 2,000 viewers. And you guys, 2,000 viewers, 2,000 subscribers. And you guys, I thank you so much for having that happen. You guys are awesome. Uh, there we go. And remember, collecting toys and action figures, even a one-fourth scale, Danny DeVito, a.k.a. Oswald Cobblepot, a.k.a. Penguin, from the hit classic movie, Batman Returns, can be as fun as a barrel of monkeys. But respect the monkey. Play nice. Take care, guys.